Hello, excited to be with you again from Unified Oski. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, we want to assure you that we always have your success story in mind. Congratulations to all the latest UK RN. Yeah, in this video, we want to have a quick look A to E assessment which focus on ectopic pregnancy. Are you ready? Let's go. Prepare for the station. It is important to read the instructions carefully. Next, you can go ahead with your safety check, verbalize if the scene is safe, and if not, address any safety concerns and provide privacy. As I approach the scene, I can confirm the scene is safe to approach. There is nothing to cause harm to myself or my patient. I ensure privacy is provided by pulling the curtain. Infection control policy. Complete your hand hygiene in line with the WHO standard before and after patient contact. Ensure to treat patients with respect and dignity. Introduce yourself, state your purpose, and gain consent. Check patient's identity is correct using the three identifiers. Identify allergy status and reaction. Check for comfort if pain is stated. Do a quick pain score and reassure. Communicate effectively. This is in line with promoting professionalism and effective practice. I go ahead to do my hand hygiene. Put an ampoule of gel. I do my hand hygiene in line with WHO standard. Hello. Hi, nurse. Yeah, my name is Ademola. I'm your attending nurse for today. I'm here to do an assessment on you following the A to E approach. Is it a good time to do that? Yes, nurse. Wonderful. But before I go ahead, I would like to confirm your full name, date of birth, as I cross check with the document I have with me and your ID band. Can you tell me your full name, please? It's Janet James. Your date of birth? 1 1 1992. And I can see your hospital number is 54312. Wonderful. Yeah, have you got any allergy to food, drug, or latex? No, not that I know of, nurse. Perfect. No, any documentation of allergy in my document? And I can see you don't have any red wristband. Yeah, what would you like to be called? Janet is all right. Oh, wonderful. Janet, are you in pain or are you any form of discomfort at the moment? Yes, it's my stomach. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Yeah, on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 means no pain at all, and 10 is the worst or severe pain you've ever experienced, can you rate your pain for me? I'll say a 6, nurse. Oh, that's like a much pain. Yeah, can you just take a deep, slow breath for me? In, out. Wonderful. <sighs> Would you like to just support your tummy with a pillow? Yes, nurse. Wonderful. You can have a pillow to support your tummy. And is that helpful? Yes, much better. Oh, great. Yeah, and I'll promise you I'll be checking your match hurts if you do for any analgesic. I'll be right back to give that. And if not, this will be escalated to the surgical team. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. Yeah, are you still happy for me to go ahead? Yes, nurse. Wonderful. So just like I said, I'm here to do an assessment on you. And I'll be starting with the blood pressure. Verbalize instruments are clean, calibrated and ready for use. Remember to give the call bell when leaving patient's side to preserve safety. Complete physiological observation accurately and safely within the required time. Relay A to E assessment findings promoting professionalism and effective practice. I can confirm my instrument is calibrated, clean and ready for use. Yeah, Janet, is it okay to use your left hand? Yes, no. Wonderful. Looking at your left hand, there's no any form of lesion, edema, swelling, no cannulation. Have you had any surgery on this left hand? No, nurse. Or um, this left part of the body? No, nurse. Wonderful. So I've got the right size of cuff. I'll be wrapping it to cover 80% of your upper hand. Can you make sure your legs are crossed, please? Yes, nurse. Okay, thank you. Not too loose and not too tight. Two to three centimeter above the antecubital fossa. And while that is going on, 
Can I make use of your the fingers on your right hand, please? Yes, no. Okay, wonderful. Looking at your nail bait, I can see it's not cold, it's not clammy. There's no artificial nails, there's no any nail polish. I'm depressing your nail bait for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I release it and I can see your capillary refill returns in less than two seconds. Okay, and the blood pressure is done. I'm going to unwrap the cord. You okay? Yes, nurse. Okay. Now, I'm going to check your oxygen saturation. I'm going to attach the oxygen probe just to check your oxygen saturation. Okay, I've attached the probe. Your oxygen saturation is 96%. I'll just write it down so I don't forget. The uh, uh, blood pressure is 109.63. Okay. Now, I will be calm for two minutes. Within these two minutes, I will not be able to communicate with you. And I'll need you to be calm as well. Is that okay with you? Yes, no. Okay, I'll need to touch your wrist. Hope you don't mind. No, no. Okay, locating the radial artery. Atesso, my time starts now. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, Janet, I actually counted your heart rate for one full minute, checking for the rate and the strength of your heart rate. And your heart rate is 95. And I did check your respiratory rate as well. I'm sorry I didn't inform you at the beginning. I didn't want any alteration in your respiratory rate. Your respiratory rate is 20 cycles per minute. And I did check for the rate and the depth of your respiration. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. Okay, now I'll be checking your temperature using your forehead. Looking at your forehead, there's no bleed, no rash, no any form of sweating. You hear a bleep sound, it's just the temperature checking. I'm done, and your temperature is 36.3. And that will be all for now. I've done an assessment on you following the A to E approach. Starting from the A, when I came in, I've been communicating with you. I can see you can talk to me in complete two, three sentences without any problem. It shows your airway is clear. There's no any form of obstruction. But just to double confirm, can you just cough that for me? <coughs> Wonderful. I can see there's no any form of obstruction in your airway. Moving to the B, which is the breathing. I check your respiratory rate for one full minute, checking the rate and the depth of your respiration, checking for any form of rattle, wheeze, stridor, or cough, and there's no use of accessory muscles, no any obvious signs of respiratory distress. I check your oxygen saturation. Your oxygen saturation is 96%. Moving to the C, which is the circulation, I did check for your heart rate for one full minute, checking for the rate and the strength, of your heart rate and it's quite okay though it's 95 but i'll be coming back to talk more on that i check your blood pressure your blood pressure is 109.63 a little bit low but i will talk more on that when i'm explaining your new score and your capillary refill is less than two seconds looking at your extremities there's no any form of peripheral cyanosis Moving to the D, which is the disability. Do you know where you are, Janet? Yes, I'm in the hospital. Wonderful. I can see you are well alert and oriented. You told me about the pain. How is the pain now? Do you feel any relief? Yes, I feel a little bit better. Now. Oh, great. And like I promised, I'm going to check your medication chart and I'll be right back to give you any deal analgesic. Is that okay with you? Yes, no. Have you had the win the last one hour? Yes, nurse. Wonderful. Assessor, can I please confirm the blood glucose of Janet? Within the therapeutic range. Wonderful. Your blood sugar is within the normal range. Now, moving to the E, which is the exposure. I did check your temperature. Your temperature is 36.3. On the part exposed on Janet's body, there is no any visible wound, bleed or rashes. Assessor, can I please confirm with you, on the part covered on James' body, 
and you won't? No. Okay, wonderful. And look, referring to your past medical history, I can see you had failed IVF times two in two years. You have a past medical history of depression, iron deficiency, anemia. Just want to, are you following up with your GP? Are you complying with your treatment? Yes, I have to, nurse. Okay, wonderful. And we'll just give me a few minutes. That is all for now. I will just quickly step aside to plot your news chart. It's just a tool that tells us how often we need to monitor you. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. And here is the call bell if you need any pearl. Any help, just press the call bell and I'll be right back. I do my hand hygiene. Ensure you document clearly and accurately on the news chart. Communicate news score, monitoring frequency and escalation plan correctly demonstrating competence and safe practice. The names is pre-filled. The date, I write the date of my exam. The time is the time written on my assessment form. I write the time. The respiration is 20. That gives me a score of zero. I'm using SPO2 scale one. The saturation is 96%. That gives me a score of zero. I am not using SPO2 scale two. I move to the next one, which is air. Janet is on room air, not on oxygen. I write capital letter A in front of air. That gives me a score of zero. I move to the blood pressure. The blood pressure is 10963. And that gives me a score of one. I'm scoring only the systolic. The systolic gives me a score of one. I move to the pulse. The heart rate is 95. And that gives me a score of one. I move to the next one, which is consciousness. In front of alert, I write capital letter A. Move to the next step, which is the temperature. Temperature is 36.3. That gives me a score of zero. The news total. I have a total score of two. Monitoring frequency will be four to six hourly. Escalation plan is Y, capital letter Y. I write my initials and I'll be going back to James. Ask relevant questions to your scenario on activities of daily living, reference to sexual, spiritual and psychosocial needs in timely manner. State the instruments used will be cleaned and seen made safe. Close the station appropriately, promoting professionalism. Give the call bell or number to call if in the community. Carry out a final hand hygiene. Hi, Janet. I'm back, like I said. Hi, nurse. Yeah, I've calculated your new score. You have a score of 1 for the blood pressure, which is 10963. So it's a bit low. And a score of 1 for your heart rate, which is 95, a bit high. And that gives us a total score of two. All the other parameters are fine. And based on that, we'll be monitoring you every four to six hourly. And this will be escalated to the surgical team and the registered nurse in charge of your care as well. And I'll be back again to check you in another four hours. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. Yeah, wonderful. I will just quick, I would like a quick question on your activities of daily living. Hope you don't mind. No, nurse. Okay. Um, do you have any problem with sleeping? Um, no, not too bad, but it's only when I'm in a lot of pain. Oh, just like we said, I'm going to sort that out as soon as I'm done, you know, to get you some analgesics. Is that okay? Yes, nurse. Okay, wonderful. Do you have any problem with eating? Are you eating well? Um, the doctor said I shouldn't be eating as I'm nearing my surgery. Oh, you are very brilliant. That's true. Yeah, at this moment, we, you, you are nailed by mouth. You shouldn't eat anything at this moment. Even after your surgery for some hours, you won't be able to eat as well. For now, if need be, we're going to put you on some intravenous fluids and that will keep you hydrated. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. Oh, wonderful. Um, do you have any worries, any concern? Yes, I'm really anxious and scared about the surgery. Oh, I know it's quite natural to be anxious, but I just want to tell you to listen to some music. You can watch some films at the moment, take a deep, slow breath. And if you're still much worried, we can refer you to the psychotherapist and the surgical team to help you with some, you know, reassuring techniques and to reassure whatever worries you have. 
is that okay with you? Yes, no. But I want to reassure you, you're in safe hands. We've got competent surgical team. We, we, we are going to take care of you. Are you okay? Yes, nurse. Okay, do you have anything you want to share with me as regards your sexual or spiritual needs? No, I'm fine, nurse. Oh, okay, wonderful. And concerning your psychosocial history, I see you don't smoke, you don't drink, and you live in a two-story building with your partner, yeah. right? Yes, nurse. Okay, wonderful. And that will be all for now. Do you have any concern, any worries for me? No, thank you. Thank you very much, nurse. I just hope the surgery goes well. Oh, we hope so too. We will do everything within our best, okay? We so. hope everything goes well, okay? Yeah, you in safe hands, just like I said. And I'll be leaving you with the call bell. If you need any help, just press the call bell and we'll be right here. I'll do my final hand hygiene. All the instruments used will be clean. I make ready for the next use and the scene will be same. And that's it. All the best.